Hello everyone. Do people in the West know what it means to live under Sharia? I don't think so. I lived the first three decades of my life under Sharia in my original country, Syria. Regardless how secular the Syrian dictatorship looks to the West, Sharia is the legal system in many countries around the world, such as Saudi Arabia, Afghanistan, Iran, and Pakistan. Sharia is the legal code for Islamic theocracies. Under these laws, women and minorities are deprived of the human rights that we in the West take for granted. When the constitution of any country deprives some of its citizens of their human rights, the impact will be general and eventually affect all. That's why if you take a look at most, if not all, Sharia countries, you would see suppression and miseries prevail. Therefore, if opportunity opens, the majority of men and women in Sharia countries would immigrate to the West. In my native country, Syria, for three decades throughout my life, I had dreamt to escape the hell I was living in. Once I had the opportunity to leave, I lived in a matter of a day without thinking how I would survive in a strange country. My dream of being free was much more important to me than the fear of getting lost in a civilized country. At that time, contemplating to be homeless in America would be more attractive to me than living as a woman under Sharia. Today, I owe America my life for giving me the opportunity to be the real Wafa Sultan. I was born with certain capabilities, but under Sharia, women are deprived of fulfilling their potential. America has given me the opportunity to regain my talents, rights, and most important, enjoy my free spirit. When a woman living under the Sharia immigrates to a free country, the experience is profoundly positive. I have changed a lot because now I am free. I don't have to allow my rights to be violated by any religious or political authority. Here in the United States, I am a person equal to all others. My family won't be subjected to injustices under Sharia. And my faith is not imposed by the clergy. At times, it feels to me that Sharia is following me to the United States. Therefore, I strongly feel obligated to prevent the insidious efforts of various organizations to implement the Sharia in our country. Nothing threatens my mental and psychological well-being more than the fear of having Sharia established and applied here. I don't want to face again the hell that I had skipped off 20 years ago. My biggest obligation is to preserve the free spirit of this wonderful country and not to allow destructive forces to ruin it. If Sharia would have been imposed in San Francisco, would gay rights and women rights be affected? Of course. Under Sharia, gays are to be killed. 
and women are considered inferior. If Sharia would have been imposed in Texas, would drinking alcohol be permitted? If Sharia would have been imposed in Iowa, would people there be allowed to buy or eat pork or bacon? If Sharia would have been imposed on Los Angeles, would people be allowed to buy birth control pills? If Sharia would have been imposed in New York, would there be more honor killings? If you're living in the Western countries, Sharia may be coming to areas within your country. In cities across Western Europe and Canada, some people live more under the rule of Sharia than the secular laws of those countries. Women are forced into marriage. Converts to other religions are persecuted. Polygamy is growing and young girls are the victims of honor killings by their families. It's hard to believe, but in parts of London, Paris, Amsterdam, and Malmo, civil authorities have largely lost control to the rule of Sharia, imposed by Muslim supremacists who want to see Sharia become the law of the land. You may be concerned like I am. So what can we do? You can learn about what Sharia means and educate others in your community about it. You can ask your government leaders to create resolutions or law to prohibit Sharia from being established in your country. I will have a petition you can sign to support these cause. You can talk to the newspapers, radio, and TV stations to urge them to cover the concerns about Sharia in a Western country. Why do all of us need to take action? If you live in the United States and believe in the American Constitution, you will realize that our Constitution is not compatible with Sharia. Under Sharia, polygamy is permitted even though it's a criminal under American law. Under Sharia, Muslim men are allowed to beat their wives, to discipline them. Muslim men can divorce their wives without requiring a court proceedings. And daughters get half the inheritance the sons get. In general, human rights and women's rights, as we know them, don't exist. For women and non-Muslims, Sharia is in fact a form of slavery. Sharia has no place in the West. It is our responsibility to defend our freedoms, stand up for human rights, and take a firm stand against Sharia and the slavery that it brings. Thank you so much for listening.